Okay, today we are doing autumn inspections. What happens normally this time of year is there is very little pollen in the environment, very little flowering plants, but a lot of sugarcane cutting. You can see it's just we are surrounded by sugarcane. There on top there you can see the macadamia orchard and there's more macadamias over there. So the issue becomes there's so much nectar that the workers are just stockpiling as much of the sugarcane syrup from the freshly cut sugarcane. The queen uh, slows right down on laying and the workers use every available cell in the box to stockpile this uh, sugarcane juice to make this so-called sugarcane honey. It's more of a syrup because it doesn't come from flowers but the problem is your hives become honey bound and your colonies start to dwindle in size just because of lack of space for the queen today. So what we need to do is we need to create space again and remove the frames that are honey bound or completely starting to enclose the brood, leave the brood frames in and, and put some clean frames in so that they can build new comb. Okay, so populations are not as big as they normally are compared to the rest of the year. That's just because uh, they don't have as much pollen. Very little babies in the, the hives at the moment. So look at this one. Yeah, so this one you can see just sugar cane syrup. So we'll take this one out. Give it a shake, get the bees off. Let's just have a look at the one next door. Uh, this is still quite a bit of... Brazilian red pepper, look at that color, that's Brazilian red pepper with a sugar cane underneath that's not yet capped. So the populations are still strong uh, from the eucalyptus flow, January, February, and then March, April, the pepper flow. But no, now there's no pollen in the environment, that's the problem, they're my empty frames. So we've got the one empty this side, next to, just make sure. This is the one with our brood. Yes, there's a little bit of brood on the other side, a little bit of brood there. And then this one, a lot more brood. Obviously, you want to keep a brood on the center so that the, the, the bees can keep it warm because it is a little bit cool at night. There's still a little bit of brood. And then here, I'm sure this one would just be honey. Yeah, just honey. And then the rest, you can see virgin comb with uh, uncapped honey. So here, we now, this is these three frames have got our brood so we've got our clean frame our brood and then our second clean frame okay so we're taking out these two oh no this is brood sorry i can't take this out it would have been a rookie error so this one comes in there this one's going to come out because that is all honey shake the bees in this brood comes in here so we've got one two three four broods and then our clean frame on the side. So then we've got our clean frames, which will hopefully become brood, and then our honey frames on the sides. So I'll repeat this process again in June. There is a laying queen. We saw different signs of queens, and we've done frame changes. So I know what to look for next time times two. So a couple of his hives had supers on before the Brazilian red pepper flow and you can see stockpiled quite a bit of the nectar. I'll try and get it in the sun. I can't really see on camera but what a nice looking honey actually. I need to pull these off before they mix it with a with a cane. Actually they have on the side frames. These ones in the middle they kept before they started cutting cane this year so I should pull them off now. Okay we had another hive. Uh, they are significantly more defensive. They're probably packing a lot more resources in the form of nectar. Now let's have a look. Start on the side frames. I like to start on the side frames normally um, because the queen would be in the center and pulling out frames you can injure bees. Slightly less chance of injuring your queen. Okay you can see eucalyptus and pepper and sugar cane underneath that dark stuff. Get these bees off. Ah, this is a super frame. Like a whole bunch of super frames in there. Anyway, you can see how they're built on. So, another honey frame.
You see a super frame, they just build on underneath it and carry on going down. Not too sure how that happened, but these things happen. When you're in a hurry and you're working at night, sometimes you just put whatever's in there. Okay, so there's the brood. Uh, you go, there's day old eggs and cap brood. Yeah, so we know this is a good laying queen in here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put clean frames in on this side. I'm going to take out this one. Just make sure there's no eggs in here. Although there's not a lot of honey in here. Honey on the super frame. Bit of eggs there, so we're going to put this one back. Bees are getting a little bit stingy. Actually, it's been stinging me through my gloves. Um, this is honey. I can actually remove this one or this one. I can remove this one. Let me just shake these bees off. And replace it with one of our empties. Shift all the brood up and we just get these bees out of the way. Let's see what this is. Okay, brood. Now let's see all the nice open larvae there. We just hope there's enough pollen in the environment to feed them. There's some more brood. <laughs> On a super frame, but it's doing the job. Sometimes, gotta just do what works in the moment. Okay, let's see where, where our honey starts so we know we can take that honey frame out and replace it with a clean frame. Yeah, those eggs. No, not eggs, honey. I'm going to take this one out. Place it with a clean frame. And those last two you can see are honey. So what I'll do is just get these bees out of the way. Place it with this frame. That is not completely full yet. Just get these bees off so we don't squash them going in. There, so you can see cleans, four brood, and honeys on the side. Frame changes. Too. So remember to check your hives every couple of months um, that they haven't become uh, honey bound, that the queen has enough space to lay so that the, co the colony size doesn't start to dwindle. Um, another solution is to super, but that also might uh, uh, cause the queen to go up and start laying in the super if you don't have a queen excluder on. But best is to take out those, those honey bound frames on the, on the sides of the brood and just create space for the queen to lay. But I uh, hope you found this useful. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.